Welcome to Gamer's Platform. Oh, God. God. Man. Yeah. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> oh, baby! Look at that! Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Gamer's Platform. The only place to be for all your gaming needs. I'm your host, Adam Wolf, and today I haven't done one of these videos in a while. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, we're doing a uh, a trailer reaction because it's on a game that uh, has been basically canceled and come back from the dead. You may have heard of it, Six Days in Fallujah. It's based on the real life event of the Battle of Fallujah back in 2004. There were essentially three battles, the first and second assaults, and then of course the fall of Fallujah in uh, 2013. Now this I believe takes place during the first Battle of Fallujah. Uh, and the reason that this was canceled is because it was slated to come out in 2010, uh, which at now is 11 years ago. Um, back in 2009 is when it was announced. Konami was actually publishing it at first. And then uh, as it turns out, people don't particularly care for that. And uh, they people felt as though it was too close to the actual battle. And it was just too soon. And so Konami, being pressured by the public, said, no, nah, we're not going to do it. And so basically the game was officially canceled until this year when we got a, an announcement trailer saying that Six Days of Fallujah is back on after being canceled over 11 years ago, um, or basically 11 years ago. Uh, the developer is Highwire Games being published by Victura. I don't know either of these developers or either of these companies, but it is slated to come out on PC, PlayStation 4 and 5, Xbox One and the series consoles um, in quarter four this year, but we'll see what happens. Uh, did my, yeah, it just died, okay, that's fine. It didn't die, it just un disconnected. So we're gonna take a look at this. I, I've never seen, I didn't even see the reveal trailer. So we're gonna take a look at the gameplay trailer um, as our first, uh, trailer reaction uh it, it's gonna be interesting because i personally thought this would be a great idea just to you know as instead of doing a documentary they do a video game and people just thought oh that's glorifying war and it's like well would it have been any different if they did a documentary on it i don't think so but uh or maybe it would have been actually they probably would have liked it but um i don't know what engine this is built on it's actually a custom engine and uh it's said to have the most destructible environments in any video game, besting that of Battlefield Bad Company 2, which is by far the most destructible game I've ever played personally. Um, but anyway, let's uh, let's get into it. it. Looks like IGN's the only one who actually has the rights to this or whatever. So let's take a look. My name is Jason Kyle. I was a sergeant with Lima Company, Third Battalion, First Marines. That's the other thing too. They have actual. Um, on November they have 2004 I I'm just going to pause it real quick. They have actual marines and you know military staff on hand to make sure that this is as, as authentic as possible. Um and they also have X Halo and oh who else who else who else uh it was Halo and um uh somebody else. I don't know. They have series veterans or, or, or industry veterans, excuse me, uh, working on this. Guys who have worked on some pretty huge titles, which is great. Uh, Halo and Destiny game developers. There we go. So we're looking at some pretty, pretty awesome developers here on this project. Entered the city with 12 Marines plus myself. And by November 13th, I was down to four Marines and myself. Six Days in Fallujah recreates stories from the battle based on eyewitness accounts. One squad has already walked down this alley, so we're just like walking down pretty confidently, and like these guys just open up. There's one in the alley. There. I got you. Alley looks clear. Go right on it. Suppressing fire. That was the go command. One tap issues orders to your team based on what you're pointing at. Pin enemies in place with suppressive fire while you flank. Go, go. 
Now to pause it here real quick, I got to say, first and foremost, um, obviously it's a custom engine. So, you know, it's going to look the way it looks and it doesn't look, I guess you could say it doesn't look like it belongs in this generation, but you know, that's to be seen. I mean, this is early gameplay, so things could change. Everything's subject to change at this point. But so far, I like the lighting. The setting is, of course, very authentic. They they probably recreated the uh, city of Fallujah. I don't know if they mentioned if it was a one-to-one -one scale or not. Um, it might not be, but um, as you can see, very realistic uh, ideas of, uh, you know, re realistic animations making sure that it's actually a tactical shooter, not something like Call of Duty or Battlefield where they kind of just Hollywoodize it. I'm making that a word. And they turn it into a movie instead of actually something that, you know, means something. Um, I guess it was technically called at one point the a survival horror game, but not in the not what they said in the traditional sense. And um, it's more of like based on the realism of, of how visceral this battle was so it's i don't think that graphics are going to matter here i think what they need to do is tell the story and uh that's personally what i'm looking forward to we need more tactical shooters on console to begin with anyway uh let's see Order your team to stack on a verdun door. is on console now the gun um, makes it as easy to direct your team as insurgency sandstorm should be coming to console soon go, go, that'll go. be good too animations are definitely a bit on the rough side at the moment but again early gameplay so the person who goes in first is never wrong they have the most to fear and as soon as i walk in i see a machine gun right in front of my face maybe 10 feet 15 feet from me Every time we would go into one of those buildings, you never know what to expect. You don't know the layout of the house until you get in there. And then you still don't know it until you go all the way through it. Room clearing, house clearing, it's different every single time. Marines and soldiers never knew what was waiting for them behind the next door. And if you want a realistic experience, neither can you. Six days in Fallujah reshapes the battlefield every time you play. Each room, each building, even the entire neighborhood is generated procedurally. I heard about that. Every map is a new map. So just like actual combat, you'll never know what to expect. You hear that? That's pretty incredible that they could procedurally generate every building and every time you play the game, it's different. Now, I imagine that uh, being a tactical shooter, you're not going to want to get shot here because it will put you down quickly. I mean, I don't know if that guy got shot or if the red on the outside of the screen was like, hey, you're getting shot from this direction or something like that. But, um, you know, most realistic games that are like this, like Insurgency, are one shot kills like you get shot you'll be lucky if you survive. You know, if you get shot in the body, you might be able to patch yourself up, arm, legs, whatever. You get shot in the head, you're done. You know, it's not like every other game where you get a headshot multiplier. You know, you're just done. Um, and I did actually notice some, some, uh, I don't know what kind of anti-aliasing they're using, but I did see some ghosting at, at when he opened the door on his hand. You see that? Very 
I'm not really fond of the temporal anti-aliasing that t companies use these days. It just doesn't, it causes stuff like ghosting and it doesn't look good. Um, I wish they would go back to using maybe SMAA or MSAA. That's a good one. You know, that's actually my favorite anti-aliasing because although it's a little bit heavier to process, you really don't need to go very high. You can go to two times MSAA and still get a really clean picture without all the ghosting and you get rid of most of the jagged edges. So, you know, I personally have my favorite types of, of anti-aliasing, but um, we need to move away from temporal anti-aliasing it just doesn't work half the time and and it seems as though developers don't really know how to use it properly my son he had his first birthday while we were in Fallujah I want to take a picture so I wrote happy birthday JJ on a, a piece of cardboard and I held it up that was the most difficult day I had there. It dawned on me, it's like, I can't die on my kid's birthday. And that's all I thought about all day long, was dying on my kid's birthday. Man, when it's dark, it's dark. Good here. Come with me. Good. Keep a lookout. <clears throat> right. What's that? And as far as I remember, they're actually using real people's names and stuff. Um, I don't know how the depictions are, how well they've modeled the faces, but as far as I understand, they are using real <laughs> names. So just think, you know, you have this Marine, you're amped up, you know, you got all this adrenaline going through, and you kick that door down in this like family of four. And I'm talking to the dad, I'm like, dude, like, why are you still here? And he's like, on the way of the television, I saw this guy, the Lord of the Lord, he was the Lord of the Lord. He said, the Lord of the Lord was in the Lord of the Lord, and we're going to kill him and kill him. So for that, the Lord of the Lord can say, from the Lord of the Lord, I'm going to kill him. وعائلتي وعائلة أبوي الله يرحمه طلعت فأبوي بقى رادي يبقى قال ما أطلع تعرف أهل الفلوجة القدماء وال... إيه؟ يعني هاي بالنسبة لهم عار بأنه يطلع محتل جاي ويطلع من قال ما أطلع هذا أبقى قال أموت أموت هنا يا بأطلع قال ما قلت له لعد آني وين these, these end cards are so annoying sometimes because they don't put them at the right spots Okay, so I actually am very excited for this. And again, I still think back to when it was first canceled. This is a game that was being, I think it was being funded by the military. It was supposed to be a military simulation uh, for soldiers to play and get used to. Uh, you know, call outs and tactics and stuff like that. I don't know. As far as I know, that's that's what they use their simulators for. Um, and because of all the backlash, because it was so soon after the battle, which uh, five years really isn't soon. Um, it's earlier than most, obviously. But, you know, I still think that if a documentary was to be made on this battle, which I'm pretty sure there have been plenty since then, um, it would very much be treated differently. Like they would allow it. Whereas people were so hateful and spiteful towards this game because they take a look at a game and it's just like, oh, you're, you're just, um, glorifying war. And it's like, no, just like books, music, TV, movies, it's a way to tell a story. And all they wanted to do was tell the story. Yes, you're participating. You're interacting in the game. You're in control. But who's to say you're not participating when you're watching a documentary? You're, you're engaged in it. 
you know, when you're watching a movie, you're engaged in it. I mean, if this is how people look at this, then I don't, I mean, if they're, if they're, there's still controversy surrounding this game, but it is actually coming out, uh, finally. Um, I think if people are going to be controversial and, and, and say that this game, you can't do this because it's, it's too soon. Well, then where's the line? How, how not soon is not soon like i i don't know how far in the future do you have to go in order for something like this to be um you know acceptable i mean if we're talking 100 years then we got to stop talking about world war ii <laughs> okay we got to stop talking about how the nazis killed millions of jews and we got to stop talking about all the and the vietnam war and it no it's stupid this is history. This is what ha this is what has happened, and it's been funded by the military, or at least it, it, they want it to happen. Um, they're consulting with people who were there, uh, military experts and ex-military personnel, and everybody else seems to be on board except for the whiny babies that exist today. Like they're ah, they're so sensitive to everything, and they don't they want to forget. That's the thing. They want people to forget that this happened. That's all this is. Uh, in my opinion. But anyway, to not get so opinionated, that's not what this is about. This is supposed to be about the technical thing. I love the fact, and I actually remember I heard that they brought in um, uh, people who lived there uh, and went through that. Um, was it Fallujah's in Iraq? I think. Um, they brought in people who actually experienced it from the other side. Uh, to talk about it. They, they silhouetted them out, but uh, I think that's really cool that they brought in native people from that area. And so I really, I really do think this is going to be good. And like I said, when it's, when it's dark, it is dark, you know, like, like a horror game. And when you really think about it and, and see it is pre alpha. So that's, you know, we got a long ways to go. Hopefully they'll be able to get it out this year. If not, that's okay. They don't have to. Um, I think they need to take their time on it. I completely forgot to silence my phone, but either way, it'd be great to get it out this year and, uh, to be able to experience this story to be able to experience a very real, uh, story in a video game setting you know it's 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 going to be different i think you know if they do it right i think it could be very different we're so desensitized to violence these days with call of duty and battlefield they are they make it into a fun thing when you know in reality battle or excuse me world war one and world war two those weren't fun vietnam wasn't fun their war isn't fun um and it's not it's not supposed to be but this is entertainment but we need games like this to really kind of bring everything back and say look this is how it was um and i think it's great that games can be used as a as a way to tell a very real story um and hopefully we see more of this if this does really well uh i'm hoping that we'll see more games like this where they pick up real stories and tell it like it was um, and don't shy away from controversy, you know, don't listen to the people that are saying, oh, you can't do this because it, it's too soon. Then when is my question when? Uh, but overall, I like the look of the game for sure. I think the engine, it looks pretty strong. And if the destruction is what they say it is, literally anything in this in this procedurally generated map can be destroyed which would be fantastic. I mean, I don't even Battlefield's engine Frostbite has kind of, you know, pared back a little bit on the destructibility of their games because they're trying to push graphics along with it. And that's very hard to do. So the simplistic look of this game, definitely uh, there's a reason for it, but I'm hoping they do kind of up the detail a little bit and um, maybe correct the lighting a little bit. It looks good but it does kind of make things look a little fake. And I don't know if they're trying to go for realistic graphics, um, if they are, and they're gonna try and pull off realistic destruction too, that'd be fantastic. Uh, but if they're staying with this kind of look, I think that's gonna help the destructibility out more, but at the same time, it is gonna make it look kind of like a game that belongs in 2009. So I'm hoping that maybe they 
go with a little bit a uh, little bit more detail but so far you know again animations are janky but it's pre-alpha and i'm sure they'll be smoothed out by the time they want to get the game out i liked the fact that you could just order your teammates to to you know watch this door or, or you know cover that corner or something like that i think that's really cool i i actually enjoy games like that full spectrum warrior was one of my favorite um uh classic playstation 2 xbox original era games um and of course socom i'm a big socom fan ha always have been and uh that was another game where you could command your teammates to go and do certain things so i think that's pretty cool that that we're getting games like this back we need more tactical shooters like i said especially on console and uh hopefully this is the game to do it but those are my thoughts on this trailer guys what do you guys think about six days in fallujah are you excited for it do you think that maybe it's still too soon to tell the story i personally don't as you as you know i don't think it's too soon to tell any story i think it needs to be told and people need to understand that war is not fun it's pretty ugly and uh hopefully even though i hope to have fun with this game i'm hoping that we get a good story out of it as well let me know in the comments below like the video if you liked it get subscribed if you haven't already and until next time i'll see you guys in the next one